friends, welcome back to my channel. It's another day, that's why I'm gonna be doing another content. Before telling you what is the content is all about, let me tell you again, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below if you haven't been clicking it together with the notification bell if you want to become updated to all of my upcoming videos. Anyway guys, I am now back in the province of Bulacan. I've been staying in the city for two weeks, I guess, because I really enjoyed staying in the city and I felt very productive compared here in the province. But now, since that I want to have a relaxing time so that's why I come back here I arrived here around maybe 2 in the afternoon earlier but now I am just here sitting and resting in the couch of my sister <laughs> so yeah I'm just sitting and I am now about to prepare the things that I carried here actually I came from the apartment of my friend so as I told you before on my previous vlog I don't know which vlog it is but I told you there that one of my friends had an accident motorbike accident so that's why the apartment of that friend of mine is currently vacant that's why I took the, the things and the stuff and I carried all of the stuff of that friend of mine here in Bulacan because it is a waste of money if you're going to pay for your apartment and you are not staying there right is that right so it's not really wise guys you're paying for the apartment even if you're not staying better to remove all of the stuff of that friend of mine to that apartment and put it here in the province for now but when that friend of mine will come back here in Manila, of course, we have to find another apartment. Actually, I wanted to make a video about the um, simple apartments here in the Philippines, specifically in Manila area, which is in national capital region of the Philippines. But unfortunately, I I don't know how to do it. I don't know. I don't know how to start and I don't know what to do on that content showing you what is the apartments here. So anyway guys, in today's video, I'm just showing you the life here again in the province. So maybe I will continue this video tomorrow or later. But for now, I have to fix the things that I carried here, put it in one place, and clean the house because it's really dirty actually. There's a lot of dust, especially outside, and then the cage of my cat is full of poop already and she's currently stinky. I smelled her and I have to take her on a bath tomorrow. <laughs> maybe so yeah today is Sunday guys and um, what I'm going to do later is just to rest and maybe read something here so yeah let's go guys let's go and come with me come with my journey in the province <laughs> okay guys so as you can see it's full of dust the sleeper is full of dust and then the floor has a lot of dust and this is my cat Look at my cat right now. She's now a grown cat. She's now a little bit bigger compared to before. Okay. Look how big she is right now. Oh my gosh, she looks like pregnant. <laughs> okay, so that's the things of my friend. And look how dusty is the table right now. And look at these plants. It is very sad that it has to die. This is actually the tomato and then the chili. This is the chili, I think. But unfortunately, it did not survive. Maybe it's because there's no one here. So there's no one who's who's watering the plants. And also this one. I think it's now ready. I have to pull this out already to get the garlic. It's actually the garlic. And then this is the ginger. And also a ginger. And then the ginger. And then the scallion or the spring onions. The big ones. And yeah, I have to fix this all stuff. I have to put it in one place inside of this unit. And I am actually lazy to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I have to do that. And guys, let me show you something. So actually, I've been away from this unit for almost two weeks. No, actually, it's more than two weeks. And look what happened. This is what happened to my um, ginger. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. <laughs> this is now my ginger. And look at this. Oh my gosh, this is... This is what will happen to your house if you're going to um, be away for a couple of weeks. So look at the onion, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. I really, I'm really not expecting that. But anyway, look at my calamansi. I have to throw it away now. And this is my cucumber. Oh my gosh, look at this cucumber. I don't think so if I can still eat it. 
And okay, this is the squash that I bought from the last time that I went outside to take some jogging. And this is the Gabby. I I have to throw it away now. And yeah, look how dirty it is. Actually, the whole place is so dirty and so dusty. Look at my cat. She's playing. Right now, look at that one. <laughs> and actually, when I arrived here, I got the bill for the water. So this is how much. It's 269 pesos. 269.50. That's my bill for November to December. I have to pay it online through Gcash. And yeah, I have to fix everything here because it's so dirty. So yeah, let's go. Let's go fix it. some embutido the filipino sausage that i have shown you before so i got one i bought one and it's still hot i have to pay kuya may barya kayo isa lang dalawa na lang oh bigay mo na lang doon no sa bahay doon doon no yung ano yung may naka green to my rice since that I have been away from this unit for two weeks look what is that is that a worm is that a rice worm look at that I don't know what really happened to the rice that Okay guys, so I just got finished cleaning the house and I am now about to prepare for my dinner but look what had happened to my rice. I don't know what happened to my rice but there's a lot of rice worm in it. I don't know why. So that's why I am gonna be trying the brown rice that I bought last time. So let's see guys if it's good or not. This is the first time that I am gonna be trying the brown rice. So yeah. I am just going to cook a small amount of rice because I am the only one who's here. So yeah, I'll see you later. Can you see that? That is some warm rice. I don't know why my rice has that warm. Okay guys, so this is what I am gonna be having for my dinner. So I fried the sausage, the Filipino sausage that I got earlier this afternoon and I have some achara here this is a Filipino papaya salad 
and then I have this string beans um, string beans veggie with some shrimp and the brown rice and the sausage and water so that's for my dinner okay guys let's eat okay, this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying the brown rice let's see There's a huge difference between the, the white rice and then the brown rice. The brown rice taste is not like the regular one, of course. It tastes like... I cannot explain how it tastes like. I don't know. I don't know how it tastes like, but it's not that really good like the white rice. the veggies actually these veggies came from my parents house mm. the embutido or the Filipino sausage it, it tastes really good this is a chicken embutido chicken sausage The brown rice taste is really unusual to me. I don't know, because I haven't tasted this kind of rice before. The papaya salad and the embotido, the sausage, is really perfect match. Hey guys, the time is so the time is 9:29 in the evening and after I eat my dinner, I fell asleep while watching something on YouTube. <laughs> and then when I woke up, it is already 8 in the evening. So, I actually want to I was thinking to unbox a parcel that I got earlier this afternoon from my neighbor, but my neighbor received it yesterday. So I am going to unbox this parcel. This is just a shoes that I got from Shopee. As you guys can see, my hair is so messed up. Look at that. Because I just woke up. So let's open this parcel. This is a shoes. I hope. I wish this will give me a positive vibes. Because I felt so tired. I don't know why, but I am... Um, I felt so sleepy every time. I don't know, the whole the whole day, yesterday and today, I felt so sleepy. I did nothing, just sleeping while I'm traveling going back here. I was sleeping and then when I got here, I fell asleep. And then this evening, I fell asleep again after, after eating my dinner. And actually, I haven't done washing the dishes because I am so lazy and I am super sleepy. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's cold. The climate or the weather here is kind of um, relaxing. Maybe my body is really um, like to relax because of the weather. I don't know. Okay, so this is another parcel. Oh my gosh, this is very beautiful. Look at this. You know what? I like wearing flat shoes but with a little bit of heels. This is really cool guys. I really like it. Look at this. I never regret after putting this in my cart. I will never have any regret buying this one. This is very cute. This is really nice. Look at this. This is size 40. You know what? Before, my foot size is 37. Then this 2021, my foot size is 39 I don't know what happened but my height did not really add I think I didn't gain any height I am still the same 3-4 three, 3-4 four. Three, four in height oh 
Oh my gosh, this is really cool. I really love it. It really fits my my foot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what happened to my legs? I'm having a lot of bruise. Look at that. I have some bruise here. Where's my bruise? Anyway, yeah, I have some bruise here. Let me give you a closer look. That I have some bruise. I don't know why. So yeah, this is the shoes. It's really nice. It's really cool. I really love it. I will put the link of the store where did I get this on the description box. So yeah, I don't know if I will continue vlogging tomorrow, but yeah, I actually have a lot of shoes. You know, I love shoes. <laughs> I love flat shoes and then heels as well. You know what, this shoes is really unique because this is the first time that I've seen a shoes with two laces. I don't know if I should put this at the same time. Look at that. There's a total of four laces. I don't know if I will put it together or not. guys good morning so I just got woke up I woke up around 10 plus in the morning and I woke up with a very beautiful sunny morning guys so that is the weather that is the current weather right now So the weather is very beautiful, it is sunny, yet it is very cold guys, that's why I am so lazy to um, open the closet and take my shower. I am so lazy to do that because it's so cold today and last night as well it's cold but I, I like this kind of weather, it's like I am staying in Baguio City, so this is how it is in Baguio City and in my province, in Quezon province. <laughs> So what I just did when I woke up, I cleaned the um, the poop of my cat and then I wiped the table and I just got finished wiping the window grills outside. I'm not yet done so let me show you how to wipe it. How I wipe it. <laughs> Look how big she is now. Come. So after cleaning outside, I think I deserve a cup of coffee. I was actually planning, or I am actually planning to wash the laundry, to do the laundry, but I am still lazy, guys. I am still preparing my strength to do the laundry. <laughs> okay, let me fix it. Ate Dina! Ano na? Okay na siya? I have my visitor. I have my neighbor here. Say hi, hi. Atedina. It's this is Atedina. 
the one who's feeding my cat whenever I'm not around. Yeah. Alika dito, alika dito ka na, mainit dyan. So, we will just gonna have some chica muna. For now. Ang kilim na. Okay guys, so for my breakfast and lunch, I am gonna be recycling the leftover food from last night. So I have here the brown rice, and then I have the Filipino sausage, which is the potato, and yeah, that's all. And I am just gonna be putting some cucumber to my recipe. I am gonna be experimenting again for a new recipe, so let's go. Okay guys, so this is what I am going to have for my lunch, brunch, breakfast, and lunch, and a cup of coffee to make me energize. <laughs> so yeah, let's go eat. Let's eat! As you guys can notice, I am not yet done with my shower and I haven't done changing my outfit or my clothes because I'm so lazy. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, it can happen. It can happen that you are so lazy to change to take your shower. So let's taste my recipe. <laughs> this is a new experiment. Mmm. Tastes good. It's not bad. It tastes good guys, actually. Hmm. I take a small amount of the papaya because I really love it. I think it fits with the, the taste of my recipe. So yeah. Actually, the taste of my recipe is a little bit salty. At the same time, it is very spicy because I put a lot of hot sauce. And it's yummy, guys. The sausage did really complement the rice and then the, the cucumber. Mm. Red the papaya. It's perfect. Do I have a visitor? Do I have a visitor coming? Guys, so it is now afternoon here and I have a lot of laundry. I have to do the laundry. Okay, so I have a lot of laundry. This is from two weeks ago. That's my laundry and I am gonna be doing a laundry, a traditional Philippine. Hey guys, welcome back. So the time is 11.33 in the evening and I am about to take my rest because I have to wake up around 3 in the morning later since that I have my work tomorrow. So before going to bed, I'd like to answer some questions. As you guys may notice, past few days ago, I posted this on YouTube. Okay, so I posted it and asked you guys if you have any questions for me, just drop it on the comment section so that I can answer it. Well, some of you did comment or one of you did just comment and I'd like to um, appreciate him by answering his questions, all of his questions. I really appreciate him because he's always there. He always used to comment on my content and to some of my posts on 
other social media. So this is Mr. Anthony Horex. So he asked me, do you believe in ghosts? Um, I actually don't have any experience about ghosts, but I don't want to say that I don't believe in it, but I don't also want to say that I believe in it. What I can say is that I believe in God because, you know, God is the one who is in control about everything in the universe because he's the one who created everything. So, next question is McDonald's or Jollibee? <laughs> um, before, when I was younger, I liked McDonald's. But now, since that I am more into Filipino things or Filipino foods, well, I would say that I love Jollibee compared to McDonald's. And Jay Grammer also commented, How's your day? My day today is fine. Actually, he commented it two weeks ago already. And yeah, thanks for your participation. Another question from Anthony Horrocks. Can you dance? Actually, <laughs> it depends on the situation. I remember when I was in college, we had to do a cheer dancing. It's something like a cheer dancing. I already forget how they really addressed or how they did really call that kind of performance. But yeah, we had to dance in that event in exchange for a good grade. So I, I, I danced. And I can actually learn some steps, but I'm not a really good dancer. And he also um, wrote here some demonstration required. So if you want some demonstration, I will give you because you are special to me. So watch this TikTok. <laughs> I know you have already watched this. So enjoy this TikTok. Welcome back. So, next question is, what would be your dream country to visit? Oh my gosh, my dream country to visit is of course the USA and the United Kingdom. Okay, let me say that my number one country that I really would want to visit is um, United Kingdom. I really love the accent in the United Kingdom, but if I have to apply the accent to myself, I would always choose the American accent because it's really nice in my ears. So yeah. That is my dream country to visit, United Kingdom and then United States of America. And also, I am always open to explore and to experience the different cultures in the world. It depends if where my destiny will really bring me, I will always enjoy and cherish those moments. Okay, next question is, what scares you the most? What scares me the most? My anxiety. <laughs> You know, because it's hard to control sometimes your thoughts. And um, myself, I, I am scared about myself because sometimes when my emotion arises, I cannot sometimes control myself and I can really get lost with myself. Like, I don't know who I am anymore or something like that. So what scares me the most is myself to do such things that is not about gets doing. I'm really scared to myself when I am super angry because when I am super angry, I can do such crazy things like no one can really do something like that. So that's why I am always controlling myself to not get angry and I'm always thinking what will be the consequences after I did something wrong about the situation or about anyone then that is the things that I really don't want to do I don't really want to do some bad things to anyone because I am also a human so next question is this is from Jerry Drummer again Kamusta? <laughs> looks like another beautiful day there in your place yeah Actually, every day is beautiful. It is just depend on us and how we were going to appreciate the day. So, yeah. Next question is from Antonio Horix again. What was your best subject in school? Oh my gosh. When I was younger or when I was just a little, my favorite subject is mathematics <laughs> because I have my own understanding on how I am going to solve the problem. But it's hard for me to focus on one thing only. <laughs> so yeah, mathematics is one of my favorite subjects when I was younger. And then it became the science. And now I think it's English because I'm not really good in English. <laughs> and I am hoping for myself to improve day by day. 
So I believe that if you continue doing for the things that you really love, someday you will see your improvement about it. Just keep believing and someday God will grant you whatever you want in life. So anyway, that's all. That's the questions that I got from you guys. Thank you so much for your participation. I hope that I gave you the best answers that you're looking for. No, actually, I hope that I made you satisfied on my answers. So yeah, that's all for this content. I hope you guys did like it, did enjoy the watching. And if you did like it, of course, please don't forget to give me a thumbs like. And if you haven't done clicking the subscribe button below, please click the subscribe button below together with the notification bell if you want to become updated to all of my upcoming videos. Again and again, guys, this is C, who is saying to keep dreaming but never stop doing. Goodbye, everyone. See you in my next one. Stay safe and be healthy. Goodbye. What? Goodbye.